Hello guys, Mr. Austin1990 here in this episode 50 of the random hybrid fasting fast if you look with cheap ultimate team coins, go check out the game keys.co.uk. Links for that will be in the description as well, discount code, and go check out that Facebook page and leave it a like from me. But if we can nail 1,000 likes this episode, guys, that'd be absolutely amazing. It's my 50th episode of the series, it's also my 500th video on YouTube, which is absolutely crazy, considering that I've been going for quite some time now. 500, 500 videos doesn't even seem that many, to be honest to me, anyway, but um, yeah. 50th episode of the series. It's not going to be nothing special today, unfortunately, guys. I will be doing some special videos in the future, though. Hopefully going to have a video where I play Jack 54 HD. He does a 7-minute squad series, which is very similar to what I'm doing. Well, quite similar in a way, where we both make teams in a certain amount of time. Well, I don't make a certain amount of time. You know what I mean? Make teams in the episode, then play a game at the end. Ideally, what we're going to do is I do my series here, he does his, and then we play a game at the end of each episode basically play each other and that would be pretty cool if you want to see me doing any other videos with any other youtubers in this series such as you know some of the smaller youtubers where maybe they do a random hybrid as well and we go into a game at the end be sure to leave any suggested youtubers in the comments that'd be absolutely amazing but 43k we're going to set it on or 41k or something um page two player 10 is what i'm going to choose so we get over and done with early see if we get anybody good who's it going to be the 10th player is the second one from the end so it's going to be inform benatia the second inform one i wanted to use this oh is that the second inform one I think so. I think that's his second inform. He is an absolute tank, ladies and gentlemen. 74 pace, 90 defending, 87 heading, and also in-game strength over 85, I do believe. I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but it is quite high up. So that's a nice one. He's also good to link in with players such as Mycon, who's got a second inform this week. If we pick him up in the uh, one of the selected people, that'll be pretty cool. But 2 and 10 on the second player, 59k chosen, is going to be... Boom! Bale, shit! Oh my lord, he's expensive. But Bale is affordable just, I would imagine. That's awesome. That is decent. Gareth Bale, holy hell. But yeah, he's going to be expensive. It looks like he's around 800k, but it looks like that. It's actually a bid on that one. But we're going to go for 67, 8k. Two in terms. We've got Bale. We've got Benatia, who's going to be the third and final player. He's going to be another then. There's not enough players on that page. <laughs> what kind of bullshit troll is this? Two and ten is what we are looking for. Are we going to have enough players on this page? Yaya Torre is the chosen one. I've already got him in my club, which is hope is good because it's going to save me buying him. Um, yeah, so that is the end of this part of the video, guys. We've got Gareth Bale. We've got Yaya Torre. And we have got Inform Benatia, the second Inform, I do believe. So I'm going to go make a hybrid around those people now. I'll be back when that's done. If you want to go leave a foothead or footwiz link of the hybrid you chose around those three players, that would be absolutely amazing. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, we've built the team. We're again rocking the 4 2 3 1 formation. It is the best formation to use for this team, for sure, in my opinion. We've got Bale at the top, who actually cost me 847k. I really hope he's worth our amount of coins. We've got Yaya Tori, who I got in the packs. That's awesome. He's playing centre mid in that CDM role, but I don't need to change him. He gets full chemistry. We've got Benatia, the second in form of 59k. It seems like a good price for him. But we'll start off in the net, and we do have Lan Luigi. Buffon in the nets just because he's a beast and that he gets a strong link with Chiellini we're going to have over here to reassure the defense to make it solid as a rock and then the right back we're going to get if we can get to the right back is going to be second in form Mycon who is actually only 35k for a second in form some in-game stats are incredible on this guy so hopefully he can do well for us so left back we've got is going to be Gael Clichy if I can find him. Premier League, Gael Clichy is there with a chemistry style on him. Good player, solid, gets uh, Yaitori chemistry and then they're all getting good chemistry anyway. The CDM we're going to have is going to be a BBVA CDM and we're going to keep at to basics and go with our big man, Xabi Alonso because I love this guy to bits. Awesome player in this game, S just sits there in the defensive role, can pass as well and he's also got a good strike on him but the cam we're going to go for in the BBVA is going to be Jesse Rodriguez. Gets a link with Bale and then gets the Spanish link and the perfect link in fact with Xavi Alonso and he's an awesome player I've used him in a number of positions I really like him in cam for some reason but there we go the next player we're going to use is going to be a Premier League cam and it is going to be Aaron Ramsey in form he's actually going to be on over there in cam you're probably thinking why the hell we got him in cam but he could do well there he's there for chemistry reasons mainly to get off bail and to go into the Premier League which is awesome and then the actual final cam we've got is Santi Cazorla the perfect player for that role plays for Arsenal just getting all the chemistry um What's it called? The chemistry you can get, basically, apart from from Bell. So that's a pretty good team, in my opinion. It's getting full chemistry, 82 rated overall with some 
uh, informs and stuff on the page. I have been selling a lot of my informs recently, so we're down to um, these bad boys. They're basically the only ones I've got now. Um, you know, we've got the silver ones. We've got Jobson on the bench. Just in case shit's getting real. We've also got Ezekiel still. I'm looking to sell most of these as well. Purely because I, don't, I just don't want them anymore, to be honest. And I just want to get rid of them. But hopefully you've enjoyed this part of the video so far. We're going to go into a game now. And I'll be right back when I found myself an opponent. Okay, guys. Looks like we found ourselves an opponent. He's actually only got a three and a half star rated team, but I'm pretty sure he's probably punking out his stats because he had an 80 odd something striker. We're gonna go over either way. Oh no, shit! He's just going over that beastly bronze defense. We just got Win Opara with the pace. He's got Teddy Sheng, a legend card up front. Holy shit! That's an interesting team. Wayne Rooney playing the centre forward role. That could cause us some problems. That's, that is a lot of pace. lot of pace across the board. But hopefully we can do some damage. Come on, please. Got some foul. Fucking come on. Come on. Dink it into the box a little bit. Come on, does anybody get your noggin on that? Who's that back post? Cliche win that freaking header. No. Keelini's brought it down well. He's a lefty as well. Fucking hell, Keelini. Come on. Well in, yeah, yeah, Torre. Ran all that way. And then he's standing offside. That's what I'll never understand about this game. Why is everyone off fucking side? Oh, hello. Jesse Rodriguez. Fucking AIDS. Right, don't piss around. You're offside, Bill. Are you fucking really? Look at you, you fucking dick. When the other. No, piss off. Sharingham's clinical. Fuck's sake, that's such a lucky goal. Such a lucky goal, man. Lucky little flick on. I don't even know who got the touch, me or him. And then freaking easy to like finish for a player of Sharingham's at least got the flick on. A stupid, stupid goal to concede. 1 0. Bale sucks so bad. So bad. Oh my lord, I'm a free kick. Fucking knuckleball one top corner. Bale. Oh, fuck me, it's a free kick and a half. What a save. Corner disease, please. No, nope. who's it falling to though? Fuck it, let's lash one because all these both footed just about. We've got a guy injured in the box. Win the header. Benatia. Santi Cazola, lash one. Oh, another corner. Bale, I think that is down in front of the goalkeeper. Come on. It's Chiellini, in fact. Go on, Chiellini. Who's it falling to? It's Ramsey. No. Santi Cazola. No, we don't no fucking want to shoot. Let's go three in the middle. This is an easy goal if he wants to tramp one. Oh, wow, Buffon. Well in, sir. And that's half time, and we. I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on in this game. We're losing 1 0. Probably didn't deserve to be losing 1 0. It's such a shitty game. Just counter attack football, and Bale is probably the worst player I've used in fucking ages, man. Win the fucking header. Yeah, yeah, Torre, come on. You can do better than that. I know you can. Shit, there's going to be a goal. Oh, fuck's sake. Teddy's sharing him again, is it? For fuck's sake. I don't, I don't understand how. I honestly don't. Gareth Bale, you are fucking pathetic. Oh, Bale. Yes, good closing down and a good finish, I suppose. Because he probably would have missed by the bloody... Rating he's playing in this game. He's utter shite, but he's got a goal. And it's 2 1. Game on. Well, in cliche. Bayer, why do you decide not to do nothing? Ah, oh, sold me a bitch with that. That's a good goal. That's a good goal. 
It's Teddy Sheringham. He's got a hat trick against him, I'm pretty sure. I can't deal with him. I can't deal with him at all. This guy's goobly low little skills and fancy shit. And I'm struggling. Look at that. That just sells you every time. And that's a simple finish from a man of Teddy Sheringham's ability. And I fucking pass him kick off again. Oh my god. Now it looks like it's the end of the game. We've lost that game at 3 1. The guy was a better player than me. Sometimes you just have to hold your hands up and say, fair enough, he was better than me. But looking back at the team I had, Gareth Bale is the worst, well, in this formation anyway, strike I've ever used in my freaking FIFA life. He was garbage. His pace didn't feel anywhere near what it says. His strength was atrocious. He was getting bitch slapped by his defenders. He had pace defenders to be fair, so maybe that was an issue. But awful. Awful. Apologies for that performance, guys. But we've lost. We scored. We had chances, though. It wasn't like we weren't in the game. But he took his chances better. He had a clinical finisher up front in Teddy Sheringham. We just absolutely bitch slapped me. He did pick up a hat trick, which is shocking. But that's the end of the episode, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If we can smash that like button, a thousand likes would be absolutely amazing. Put me out of my misery. I've lost the game. But thank you very much for watching and sticking with the series so far. Have a nice day. See you again soon. And bye-bye.